Hello everyone, welcome back. It's TGR, that's Gaming Robo. Guys, I have been looking forward so much to be doing a live stream with each and every one of you. I hope you're all excited as much as I am. Now guys, just before we do crack on with uh, with this live stream, just want to make sure that each and every one of you do smash a like on the video if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to the channel as well. Hit that notification bell and join the TGR, that's Gaming Robo Members Club by selecting Join on the main YouTube channel page. Also, guys, just to give you a quick re, uh, quick update on the um, on the merchandise sort of things, they will the merchandise will be with me in the next few days, and I can't wait. So when they are here, I'm going to take a picture and obviously show it to each and every one of you guys, and then I'll let you know when the date will be for the for the actual draw rolling for the uh, merchandise, guys. So uh, I'll I'll, I'll I'll uh, let each and every one of you know when the merchandise uh, is here, like I said, so then we can officially put a date together so then we can do the live draw. But anyway, guys, let's get on cracking. Hello, Darren, dude. How are you, mate? So remember last time we uh, left off with Telford, we're, sec we're second in the league, but uh, three points behind, but we do have two games in hand and we are still in the FA Cup fourth round, but we've got to face Millwall, which is later on in this month. Hello Simon dude, hello mate. So now it's all our attention is now on the Vans Trophy second round against Kidderminster Harrys. So I hope you guys uh, heard um, about the uh, merchandise, it will be with me in the next uh, couple of days, maybe a few days depending on the postie obviously. And uh, and then I'll take a picture and show it to you all so you know exactly what's, uh, what's going to be part of the draw. And uh, obviously then we'll set up a date officially to do the live draw. I much prefer to do a live draw. Boutra makes it 1-0 to Telford. Get in, you little beauty. <coughs> uh, half time, it's 1-0. Get him into Harry, so we should, we should really be, uh, you know, quite comfortable in this game. We should be quite comfortable in this game. I was going to do a substitution, but I thought uh, I thought better better of it then. I'll tell you what, I've been doing um, my own personal save. I've done a recording of it. I'm trying to do the uh, the editing of it at this moment in time of the of a full blown season with AC Milan. I know that's your team, Simon. Chris Brandon two 0 Get in. I know that's your team, Simon. AC Milan and. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do any spoilers because I'm I want to try and get the uh, editing done tonight because I want to try and get the video out there for tomorrow. So uh, so after the live stream, I'm going straight on to the editing side and try and get that video up for tomorrow. Simon, with your AC Milan team, who would you prefer? That who would you have liked to have seen me sign for the AC Milan team? Butra three nil, get in four nil. Oh, Dunwell. I didn't even see Dunwell scored. How bad is that? Where's Kidderminster in the league? They're 21st. Forza Milano. <laughs> Adam Haslam, 15-year-old. But Darren, how are you, dude? Are you okay? Yeah, Simon, any position, who who would you have liked me to have signed for your AC Milan team? Let's have a look at some of these uh, players that we've, we went through in the last stream. Problem is, it's just the fact that England's got the stupid work permit issue, and that's the only problem. Christopher Canu. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, didn't I? Oh, what a dickhead. So we're going to lose Christopher Canu. What a stupid idiot by me. Ah. Yeah, that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? <coughs> I do like this one, though. 
Minimum fee release clause is 900,000. But we just signed Neil Scally though. But we do need another centre back. That is our issue now. Is there any uh, centre backs? Richard Rufus, he could be alright. He's in Division 1 already. I'm not spending loads of money on, on, a, on a new centre back. Yeah, I know you're right, Craig. I know you're right, but uh, then you have the issue of only allowed to play three foreigners in a team, aren't you? That is a problem. I mean, in the Italian league, I, I was able to have as many foreign players as I want, and I didn't. And there was no, there was no foreign restrictions, was there? So, uh, so yeah. So that's the that's the reason why I do like I do I did love doing the uh, the AC Milan save. I thought it was absolutely mental. I I I was literally signing foreigners left, right, and centre just to just to make me feel happy again. Min, uh, look up Joza Matovic. He's a good centre back. Stephen Lustu is excellent if you have money. Uh, Simon Nestor, of course, but I am a Crespo fan. I've always signed him on my 0304 save game. He is just a beast. Min, also John Duffy. He might be good from time to time. We'll have a look at John Duffy as well, actually. But uh, are you, are you, I can't even talk. Are all of you guys all okay? Keeping yourself well? <clears throat> we'll have a look at the other one that he said, Min. Jozo. Ah, oh, 34. Uh, Lustu, we'll have a look at Lustu. <clears throat> How much is he? 600,000. Is he going to be... I don't know. I don't know. Well, well, we'll take a little pun on him. All about football management. Hello, dude. Butra is on fire as usual. I, Craig Donaldson. I feel that Italy saves with no work permits makes it too easy. Um, yeah, you can. You can say that to be fair with you, mate. You can. I, I think that's a really, really good argument there, actually. But uh, I, I, I just, I'm not going to lie. I just loved it. I loved every single minute of it. Just uh, literally, just signing all the players that I. You, you just don't get the chance to if you're if you're playing in the uh, if you're playing in the English league. Jamie Victory is on the transfer list. Are we going to be able to get Jamie Victory back to Telford United? Don't want to play that much. Four hundred thousand. We'll go with that. We've got we've got two bids in at the moment. <clears throat> Rocco, hello mate. I'm good, dude. I'm good. I'm glad you're okay. So Chris Rigger, let's see if he's uh Oh, he looks like he could be he could be on his way to us. Let's see if we can get him on a lower lower contract. Minimum fee. Fuck off with your minimum fees. Give you a quarter of a million just to forget about minimum fee release clauses. Darren, you're chilling. Got a long weekend off. Oh, so you're not you're not working, dude, as well as playing Champ Man at the same time. God, that must be hell, mustn't it? <laughs> Ipswich. Uh, I'm not selling Butra. Right, Rigget rejects that. Okay, so we'll keep it at that. We'll offer you quarter of a mil once again and um, we'll put relegation release clause on for 1000 let's just see if that if that rocks your boat min kelba sarimpa david belotti some more good center backs for you cheers dude I'll have a look all about football management yeah rigger is a bit of a legend isn't he and rigger's accepted it as well get in our problem is though, I do want Jamie Victory. I want Jamie Victory back in the team. I didn't even look at Jamie Victory's contract. I got too excited. Balls. <coughs> but we will have a look at what um, Min suggested as well, because Min's actually passed on quite a, a good few selected players I've come across over the last few live streams. But guys, thanks for uh, for joining though as well, because uh, it, like I said earlier, it's, it was a last minute thing. 
I didn't think I was going to be able to have the time to do it today, unfortunately. Hence why I was trying to get this um, this save done and edited as quickly as possible. But when you know the wife said, "Oh, you know, we're going back home in a second," I was like, "Brilliant! That means that uh, you know I can do the live stream. I'll let you all know." And this guy looks quite good, actually, Min. He looks quite good. I've never come across that one before. Uh, David. Bellotti. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what. If I if I known about him four seasons ago, I definitely would have gone for him. And who? Oh, they were the last two. Uh, all about football management. What if victory has a minimum fee release clause? You haven't checked that, dude. I know. I'm I'm actually angry with myself that I I just got too excited with the fact that uh, you know we're getting Chris Rigger and the fact that we could have Jamie Victory back in the team. I got too excited. I I need to play down my uh, my coolness. I put more on the uh, subs bench. Okay, so Batty Scally, it was it looked like it was a quite good for um, partnership with them too. So we're going to keep that as it is as well. <clears throat> Hello, Rick. How are you, dude? Love the picture, by the way. Outside the restaurant was it, or was it a bar? Scally, get in. Craig Donaldson, Barry Laker for centre back. We'll have a look, dude. We'll have a look, mate. Man, Bellotti is free at the beginning too. Dude, seriously. Uh, I, when I do uh, my next Talk United save, I'm definitely going to be buying him, that's for sure. Jarvin makes it too. So Simon, how's the football? You're watching the football live today, aren't you? Uh, we'll get Halsham on for David Batty. Give him a little rest. It's a whole city. They're a good side on the game too. <clears throat> guys I don't know if uh, some of you come in late at all Jarvin again get in don't know if some of you come in late um, don't know if you managed to hear the uh, message I said earlier so I'll, I'll mention it again the merchandise that I've ordered it should be with me in the next couple maybe few days at the very very most Scally 5-0 against Hull what a victory um, this should be here with me in the next couple to few days so when they do arrive, I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to send it uh, onto the um, our group that we've set up, which is now well over 1,200 people, which is absolutely amazing, and uh, show it to you all. And then we'll arrange a day for the live stream um, live draw. So then we'll uh, we'll get that on the uh, we'll get that on the go very very soon. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Simon, yes, West Ham versus uh, Viborg, 1-0 to West Ham. Who scored for West Ham, dude? <clears throat> oh, yeah, he's a good goalie. I'll, I'll definitely look at him for uh, for later for later purposes. Right, um, Craig Donaldson, you said Barry Laker. I forgot about that, Barry Laker. Ah, he's in Division 2 as well. And he starts off at Farnborough. Oh, he, I could see him turning into a good one as well. Looking at his history, his tackling rate is amazing. That's a good find there, Craig. That's a really good find. I think we came across that one um, last time, Min. Um, Costas. Well, I'll have a quick look before I reject Ipswich once again. Costas. Is it Papadopoulos? Um, Papatis, Papatis. Wow, we. Wow, 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 wow. He's definitely on the radar for the new season. Ipswich, you can go away with your booter offers. You're not going to get him. No way. Min, that's a that's a cracking find that is. Jamie Victory. Right, I'm going to cancel that, and I'm going to do the bit again with Jamie Victory because I need to go through that minimum fee release clause. 
And if I fucked up my chance to re-signing Jamie Victory, then I'm really, really sorry. We'll go again with Jamie Victory. Simon, Gianluca Scamacca. Dude, I must admit, I'm not I'm not in tune with West Ham players today, so I mean I don't know if he if he's uh if he's uh, one that's been around for a long time or not. Man, if you have Greece loaded, you can get Demetrius uh, Adamidis and Treonos Delas, who are two of the best free centre backs on the game. I didn't have Greece um, loaded up, I don't think. Oh, I do. I do. All right, well, let's have a quick look and then we'll go into the next game. Um, Demetrius. Let's see. So he was at Olympiakos, got released, and then he's joined them again. And then Delas. And they both joined Olympiakos in the end as well. Oh, I'll definitely give them both a scout, mate, because uh, you have come across a fair few crackers recently. I'll definitely, definitely be looking at them. Gravesend's third, third round replay, then out. Oh, oh, that's a shame for Gravesend. Adamidis is excellent, get him. Okay. Min, you're, you're now joining with the ranks of, like, Rick. Just always, fi always find him proper, proper little gems on the get on this game. But if you notice on our on our Facebook group, guys, that we've got over twelve hundred people that's joined our group, it, it's it's amazing. It really is incredible. And now we're starting to see more and more people, you know, starting to show their you know their games or they're asking questions and so on. So I think it's incredible that uh, Cavasto he is back. So Helda Rosario can have a rest. Uh, get you on the subs bench as well, Helder. How is everyone's fitness? They're all groovy. They're all groovy. Norwich, I knew this was going to be a big game. Michael Dunwell, get in, you little beauty. Come on. Neil Scally again. Wow, his fourth goal in five games, Neil Scally. Jarvin makes it 3-0 three. Three to Telford United in 21 minutes. we still got two games in hand against Sheffield United as well. CM0102, Steve Barnett, Espin, Vince Varner, Angelo Donati, all very good centre-backs at the start of the game. Dude, we'll have a look. I think we've got Vince Warner already, actually. If not, it's Phil Warner. Rick, Costas, Coco... Demido, Demios, I can't pronounce it, is a great Greek striker. Simon, I'm in my fourth season at River Plate team, trying to look for new challenges, and Man City needed a manager but rejected me in the first division but got the job at Aston Villa in the Premier League. That makes no sense whatsoever. You get a job in the higher league than Man City in, the, in Division 1. Oh, Norwich City pulled a goal back, but too little too late. Sheffield United beat Chesterfield 3-0. Right, now we can sort out this uh, this with Jamie Victory. Yeah, see, there we go. Relegation release clause. Knock that down to uh, 3,000. Get you signing a, a 95,000 signing on fee. Just get you in the door. I know all about football management. He is on fire, dude. He really is. Simon, I don't know, mate. I don't know why why that is. I really, really don't. I think that is absolutely stupid. Our men, there's also a Greek. Right, yes, we uh, we've had a few players mentioned actually. So go back to CMO one hundred two. He said Steve Barnett. So we'll have a quick look at him. 
Have I spelled that right? Oh, it's double T, that's why. Oh, okay. I don't think Steve Barnett's in there anymore, dude. Uh, Vince Warner. Why are you not letting me delete it? There we go. Is that from um oh, Vance Warner, sorry. Is that this one, CMO one oh two? He looked quite good as well. Would have been good to have him at the start of the game. Um Danotti. <coughs> oh, he's good. He's good already. Oh, he's joining Empoli as well. What a shame, he looks good. Um, Rick, Rick, uh, Costas, that's it. Ah, oh, way too many, so I've got to put more letters in just to get rid of the. Ah, oh, has he gone? Have I spelled that right? Costas. Ah, oh, I think he's gone, mate. Uh, what's it? Who Min? You said. Lubutis, that's it. I'm looking through all the live chats at the same time. Ah, oh, he looks cracking as well. Got so many people on my scout list. CMO one or two. Stick victory on corners when you get him. He'll get loads of assists. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's Dave Barnett actually, and he's 34 at the beginning of the game, so he's retired by now. What Min said. Oh, okay, dude. Okay, we'll go. Kodo. We'll type that in again. Kodo. Ah, there we go. Oh, my days. Look at him. Look at that little beauty. Why have I never come across him before? So I'm four seasons in right now. So he starts off at, at, at 17. Jamie Victory accepts that. Thank God. Jamie Victory is back, and even though I spent 400,000, I did have, um, I think I had the sales claw back as well. I don't know if it was at 10%, 15, 20, or 25, or I am swear I swear I did have the sales claw back on him. So that must mean that I'm going to get some of that money back I paid to Bristol Rovers back to me. <laughs> Cheers, Simon. I am looking at shirts, I'm not going to lie, I am looking at shirts, oh, I've got 10% of that, so 40,000 comes back to to Telford, whoop whoop. Right, so, now we've got Jamie Victory back, this is where it's going to get interesting, because now I'm top heavy with defenders. Uh, Hugo Valdir, he will go into the reserves for the time being, the same with Gareth James make this squad page look a little bit cleaner now okay so victory is going to go on the subs bench for him for the start of this game david bat is 90 percent jamie victory you can have number 14 son <laughs> min speaking of olympiakos if they ever released uh pedrag djokovic you should get him too I'm assuming he's another little uh, another little gem of a player as well, Min, yeah? <coughs> Jarvin, he scores again. 26th goal in, of the season. Done well. Get in. Coming up to half-time. 
Jamie Victory is taking the taking the tracksuit top off. He knows he's coming on for the second half. Right, let's look at the conditions of some of these players. So, Andy Williams, he's on 91, so we'll give Andy Williams a rest. <clears throat> AJ, hello, mate. How are you doing? <coughs> AJ, don't know if you know, dude. I'll just let you know. If I've, I've told the rest of the guys. Um, the merchandise that I've ordered, it will be with me in the next couple, maybe few days at the most, obviously, depending on postman, obviously. Um, so when it, when it does arrive, we're going to be taking a picture, whacking it on our uh, Championship Manager 0102 Facebook group. And then with that, we'll arrange a date to do it on a live stream um, for the draw. So uh, I'll get off, I'll just give you a quick update on that as well, AJ. So I have purposely haven't set up a date yet because I want the merchandise here so I can take a picture and show you all that is here. So uh, that's what I wanted, to, uh, that's what I purposely waited for. So now we're top of the table with one game in hand still. Look at that goal difference, absolutely incredible. <clears throat> We've got the FA Cup fourth round very, very shortly, and we're going to be facing Millwall. Cannot wait for that game because we could be heading into the fifth round. Come on, we want to get to the FA Cup. <coughs> Here we go, FA Cup time. Now, my problem, my problem is I want to be playing Andy Williams, but at the same time, Jamie Victory needs to be playing too. And he's, he's had a good season so far as well. Uh, Chris Brandon... I'm going to give Chris Brandon a rest for this game. Andy Williams there. Chris Brandon, number three. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where's Victory? Jamie Victory. On the set pieces. This is set piece 17. Better than Brandon. Oh, here we go. Can we reach the fifth round of the FA Cup? Oh, Kenneth makes it 1-0 to Millwall. I know, it's, I know, oh, yeah. 2-0, all over, and it's only been 10 minutes. We've. This is the furthest we've reached two years on the trot. I mean, unless something remarkable happens and we, we make a miraculous recovery like Liverpool did against AC Milan in the, in the Champions League final. I don't see this happening for us. I don't see it happening for us at all. Definitely not now. 3-0. No way. There's no going back from this. Millwall on another planet compared to us. Uh, right, I'm going to bring on Chris Brandon for Andy Williams. May not be the best place for Andy Williams to be playing. That's a shame. Really, really looking forward to this game. And now I feel deflated because we're going to be crushing out of the FA Cup. Well, we're out of the FA Cup. There's there's too little, too little time left. Never mind. We're out of the FA Cup. We've reached the fourth round for the second year running. It's the furthest that the team's ever got, ever. Two years on the trot. AJ, good stuff, mate. Looking forward to it. Yeah, dude, I, like I said, I wanted to make sure it's here first so then I can show you guys and take the picture and uh, then we could do that live stream, live draw. That's, you know, that's what I wanted to do more than anything else. Uh, Simon, my Aston Villa, I play victory on uh, central midfield position. I I was thinking of putting him in central midfield, but Scally and Batty's there and they're both, they're both incredible, mate. They're both incredible. So I'll be struggling to do that. Rick, check if players are injured by checking fitness levels as it tells you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, dude. All right, so Scouts Watch Adamidas. They class him as an excellent sign-in. But this is the sign-ins that I'm going to be looking at for the start of Division 1. 
as long as we as long as we keep progressing there. Oh, who's this? Oh, he looks quite good for 22 years old. Has anyone ever signed uh, Henrik Nyholm before? Put him on a shortlist, actually, because I might have to look at him further down the line. Class him as an excellent sign-in, too. <coughs> Don't forget, guys, make sure you do smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And it's not too late to join the TGR That's Game of Robbo members club by hitting the join button and you will be part of the live draw when the merchandise comes in and you could be one of the first few people to actually get the first ever merchandise of myself and oh my god Luke Chadwick is on the transfer market oh if only I had the money to sign Luke Chadwick Ipswich they're getting desperate for Butra now aren't they What's the most you reckon I can get for Butra? Right, Chris Brandon's going to start. Andy Williams can come on if needs be. <coughs> Vange Trophy, quarter final. We're against Swansea City. Penalty. Butra. Of course he scores the penalty. Get in. So yeah, so what do you guys think? What do you think is the what's the ceiling I can get for Butra? Men, Greece in this database has a lot of good centre backs, left backs, right backs, defensive midfielders, and goalkeepers as well. Scally two 0 <clears throat> I must admit, I don't look at Greece that much. To be fair, I mean, I, obviously, I've done the Greece database one, the next database up, obviously, but. Um, apart from that, I don't really look at the Greece players that much, to be fair. And obviously, looking at some of the players that you guys have uh, recommended, I think I should be having a second look at them. Two now, we're going through to the semi-final, unless it's a two-leg... No, I don't think it's two legs. Oh, I was about to go crazy then at Hammond, but their gold's been chalked off for offside. <clears throat> and that's Scally's fifth goal of the season, that is, isn't it? Yeah, fifth goal in eight games for Neil Scally. AJ, what was the trick for searching players? I remember searching the score. What was the others? I will show you, dude, this uh, ones that um, Rick and some of the other guys had uh, showed me. So, S Sedgeford. So, are these are the players that... Uh, what is it? Star players? Rick, is it star players that got no contracts? Is that what you... What is it labelled labeled as? And to be fair, the first two are really, really good. Wow, he's superb, he is. Give you a little trial, let's just see. And that goalie, if, if only it was a couple of years younger. But then again, I've got Alloway now, so um, Alloway is absolutely incredible. Um, yes, yeah, so there's Sedgeford, there's School. Wasn't there one other one, Rick, that you mentioned? I thought there was three. Leicester City now, 275,000 for Butra. Who have they got that's interested in me? No one that I'm going to be worth raving about. Oh, no, I wanted to go back to that. I want to see who we're going to be facing. Bristol City in the semi-final. What does that mean? Sorry. Tomilovic is a really good goalkeeper, actually. Is that the uh, Belarusian one that I just went over a second ago there, Min? That's it, MA. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Thank you, dude. You're, you're right, that's it. Uni and no club, yeah. <clears throat> I 
I knew there were some others. MA, thank you very much for reminding me on that. Min, yeah. Ah, okay. I said, like I said, it's a shame he's 33, 34, because I would have snapped him up without a shadow of a doubt. Here we go. Oh, Plymouth Argyle. And they're only one hour's drive away from me, Plymouth Argyle. Keeping the same team. Uh no, we're not. David Batty needs to rest. Ashley Will and Ashley Williams. No, it's not. Andy Williams is gonna start instead of David Batty. Oh my days. Brightwell makes it one nil. Come on, Telford. We can't be taking a drop. Thank you, Jarvan. Get in, son. 1-1. One, one. Now we can start going on in this game and winning it. Get in, Butra. What a beauty. Get in. 2-1 to Telford. Butra has a 2 million release clause, so you might as well ask for that from Prem Division 1 team. I don't think Butra has a minimum fee release clause, dude. Oh, yes, he does. Uh, yeah, problem is, I just want to keep him for the rest of the season, man. You are right. I, you know more about my players than what I do, dude. That's saying something. But, uh, I mean, we, I know we've got Dunwell, which, uh, you know, he's another class act, isn't he? I just don't know if selling Butra now is a stupid thing of me to to do or just dancing around the subject of uh, the fact that he he could potentially go for that much money. Well, we beat, we beat Plymouth Argyle 3-2. Well, well, I'll tell you what, I'll put... <clears throat> when we... Uh, if we get another transfer... Request in for Butra, I'll put it up to 2 million, see if they accept it. I know they'll probably say 1.8. Hey, he signs a new deal. Wayne Carlisle, build up the praise. <coughs> oh, that's close to his minimum fee release clause. Crap. I can't even change it now. I reject. I don't know if he's going to... No, I knew. And he's on... Indispensable as well. Not happy he's not allowed to move clubs. So that His time's coming up shortly. I'll put it for two and a half million for Boutre. Let's just see if they're going to uh, if they're going to do it. Uh, Helder Rosario, he's got a minimum fee release clause of two and a half mil. We'll do the same for uh, for him with Sheffield United. Two and a half. Let's just see if they're gonna if they're gonna take the bite or not. But don't forget, guys, we will have another game, another game. Let's start that again. We will have another video um, premiering tomorrow. I know I don't usually do Saturdays, but because I wanted to get this AC Milan video out to you after this live stream, I'm going straight into editing that. So uh, so make sure you guys uh, check it out tomorrow because the AC Milan video is so much fun. Oh, you're having a giggle. He's not even contract protected. And he won't even sign a new video. Oh, what a dickhead. I'm going to get him... 40,000 on him. What a dick. What a dick. No way. <clears throat> I tried to get so much money for him as well. Ball leg, that is. Oh, next home game, Cambridge United. Right, I'm going to play Andy Williams at right back and... Put Wayne Kyle on the subs bench because I'm I I know that's going to happen shortly. He's going to be he's going to be leaving us. I know he will be leaving us. Scally, get in, son. Get in. 
<coughs> Rigger, you absolute melon head. Right, okay, so Andy Williams will go centre back. Brandon's coming down, he'll be taken Brandon will be taken off by uh, Phil Warner. Craig Donaldson, this is why I never give anyone minimum fee release clause. I tried not to give them a minimum fee release clause, but when they don't sign the contracts, I unfortunately, I give up with them, unfortunately. Min, you don't really need Helder Rosario at this stage anyway. No, I think, uh, uh, to be honest with you, Min, I was looking for trying to get more money for him. Oh, Candle, no. Oh, Ephon Williams, former Talk United striker, you... F oh, we're getting dicks now, aren't we? All because Chris Rigger got sent off. This is my extra game in hand as well. That we got absolutely thumped. We deserve to get beaten in that game. We're two points clear. Rig at banned for one game. How? What was the reason? Rig was furious with. Come on, you can't give him a straight red card for that. Haha, <laughs> Scaddy's not been sent off once in this stream, surprisingly. No, Chris Riggett has instead. That what's the irony of that, isn't it? So who's going to come in with a bid for two and a half million for Wayne Carlisle? I think it proves that I do need him at right back, but it's it's inevitable that he will be leaving us. As long as we get promoted to. Division one, that's what I'm I'm pushing for for this season. Craig Donaldson, I give them non-promotion instead after the first promotion. That clause disappears. Yes, dude, I recall you saying that last time in the last stream. So, uh, so yeah, that is a really good shout. That is. Uh, Wayne Carlisle's back in the starting lineup. Apart from uh, David Batten. Jarvan, they're all 100%. We'll stick with the same team apart from Wayne Carlisle is back in the starting lineup. And Helgerson is made it 1 0 to Watford. What a melon head! <coughs> Get in, Butra! Get in! Hold up for half time. Hold up for half time. Right, okay. Um Andy Williams. He will come on. Oh look at that. Neil Scally's got a yellow card here, men. Switch those two around. Neil Scally's on a yellow card. Is he going to get sent off in this game, Min, after you said that he's, you're surprised he hasn't been sent off yet? Come on, Telford. Oh, we're going to be getting a crappy draw, aren't we? <gasps> Michael Dunwell, you little beauty. Get in, son. Late drama here at Vicarage Road. We got the three points. So did Sheffield United, too. Fifteen games to go. We still got, we still got a chance to win this league. Still got a really good chance to win this league. Watford except Paul Bagshaw. Uh, Notts County of Division 2 are going to be signing Helder Rosario for £40,000. We've got him to the end of the season, I think it said, anyway. So we're quite... We're lucky on that front. If, if anything does happen to my centre-backs, then I've got something to fall back on with Helder. 
Paul Bagshaw's gone to Reading. Min, you are way clear of third place, so you are basically promoted. I know, dude, I just knowing my luck, we'll, uh, we'll have a little slope and then it'll just go get worse and worse. Right, so Bristol City, they're ninth in Division 2. We beat them 3-0 last time. It's, I, think it's, I think it's only one, it's a one-leg game, I think. I'm hoping it's a one-leg game. Done well, gets in, get in you little beauty. 1-0 to Telford United. We're so close to the final of the Vans Trophy. Boutra! Get in, Boutra! <coughs> half time, we'll stick with the same team for the second half. Oh, no. Lee Peacock has pulled a goal back for Bristol City. All right, Andy Williams. Come on for David Batty. What's his condition like? 75%. We'll keep that as it is. We'll keep Andy Williams in defensive midfield. We'll see how that goes. I have played Andy Williams there in the whole of division. I think it was conference division we played him in there. Dunwell's goal is offside. You're having a giggle. You're having a giggle. It counts now. Get in. We're through to the final. And Rushton Diamonds. Really? The winners of last season. That's who we're facing in the final. <coughs> Look at that Manu in Arsenal. The same... They're in the same group in the Champions League. I swear that can't happen. Scouts watch Clever, Sarampa. Ah, oh, I do like him as well. Problem is, I like a lot of these defenders that you guys have uh, that you guys have mentioned to me, and I'm, I feel like I'm going to be I'm going to be playing a like a three-five-two formation or five-three-two formation. Do you know what I mean? Oh, what's going on, on my screen at the moment? So, uh, just one sec, guys. I'm just trying to sort my screen out because for some reason it's uh, it's uh, frozen on its uh, ass now. There we go. There we go. Sorry, that on my screen it showed uh, it was uh, the screen had frozen, but now it's working again now. So, Sheffield United, we need a big win on this. I'm. Taking Belesco off because he's injured. Um, everyone else looks fighting fit, ready to go. <clears throat> this is a must-win game. We need to beat Sheffield United. Get in, Brandon! MA, Batty and Dunwell, always been reliable when I signed them. Min, first versus second. You are right, dude. Come on. This is a big game for Telford United. We need a win. We need a win here today. We need to beat Sheffield United. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. Hold on for half time. God. What's the conditions like? Chris Brandon needs to come off.
Andy Williams is on place for Chris Brandon. MA, you will play the can <laughs> you will pay the Decanio tax. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's actually quite funny, that is MA. That's quite funny. Boutra! Boutra gets it in. Get in, son. 2 0. We just got to keep a clean sheet. Do not let Sheffield United get back into this game. Hold on, boys. Please hold on. Last few minutes. Oh, yes. Big, big, big win here. Oh, God, that is a big win. Fifth round, who did Millwall play? Leeds United. And Millwall knocks Leeds United out. Wow. And West Brom knocked Man City out as well. Cars, I'm, I'm, I'm still reeling over that two-nil victory. When I say reeling, uh, that's probably not the right word, but I'm just so happy the fact that we managed to get that victory over Sheffield United. That has given us so much more breathing space. Inter Milan sacked their manager. Udinese's top. Wow. I'd never get a job for Inter Milan anyway. So we're away against Blackpool now, and David Batty does need uh, does need a rest. So we'll swap him with Andy Williams. Get it? Oh my days! I hate I hate the linesman always flagging offside. Michael Dunwell's goal count this time. Get in. Come on, boys. Let's make it 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. Let's start romping Blackpool. Oh, come on, Boutra. You need to get in on the act. <coughs> Keeping the same team for the second half. Min, you should play Halsham more. I think he was injured, that's why I haven't played him for some time, but I was playing him quite a lot. Boutra! He scores! What a beauty! Get in! No. White's pulled a goal back. Oh, I've, I haven't been playing him a lot. Neil Scally, I'm taking you off. I'm not letting you get sent off in this game. Chris Brandon restores our two-goal lead. It's 3-1. We surely got the three points here today against Blackpool. And it's four. Get in, son. Sheffield United, they beat Swansea 3-0. Still five points clear. 13 games to go. <clears throat> Sheffield Wednesday wants David Batty. Unlucky. He isn't going anywhere. Even though I probably won't have the resources to play him in, in the next season. Unless he keeps his stats up. But that's the only thing I worried about for David Batty for, uh, for Division 1. <clears throat> Come on, we want to get to the next game, champ man. Come on, mate.
<clears throat> Sheffield United appoint Steve Berry. Where's the Sheffield United boss gone? Martin O'Connor's gone to Southampton and in there in Division 1. Crystal Palace wants Chris Brandon now. He's got no minimum fee release clause. What's the highest value player? Problem is, I can't sign anyone else. I mean, I've got Darm. I'm not playing him at the moment. So, I mean, he's going to be a he's going to be potential casualty. And I've got Paul Dalgleish. He only turns up when he wants to in the game at the moment. Let's see how much they offer by swapping it with Carson. Let's see what they offer. Carlin, did you try my work permit hack? No, I haven't. Oh, no, I haven't. I was going to say I did, but no, I didn't because I was doing AC Milan save. No, I haven't yet, mate. When I go into my norm, my other save, I am going to try it, dude, because I, I'm really, really want to see what that, uh, what that foretails. David Batty can go back in the starting lineup. Williams is in at centre back. Let's get Dalgleish in because I'm more than likely going to have to start using him if I get a good offer for Chris Brandon. MA, NCM3, 98, Halsham became such a good defender. Oh, really, dude? CM3, 98. It, 98, is that the one where Arsenal won the title or is that where United won the, won the treble season? I'm not too sure which one's which. Oh, Coppinger makes it 1-0 to Colchester. Go away. Come on. Uh, Dalgleish is going to come on for Brandon. He's doing well, that's a problem, but no. Come on, Telford. We've only just beaten Sheffield United. Boutra! You little beauty. Thank you. Thank you. Now we need to go on and go for the win in this game. Oh my god. David Batty. Yes, son. Get in. Done well. Oh, it's, it's all happening now. It's four. No, Dalgleish is offside. Typical. Sheffield United. They beat Cambridge United 2-1. They still get... Scally's banned for a game already. Tell you what though, Neil Scally, 15 games, scored 6 goals and he's assisted 1. He's got 5 Man of the Match awards already. Look at the tackling rate on him. 8.3. Never seen a higher tackling rate than that before. <coughs> That's a good point actually guys. What's the highest tackling rate you've seen on a player? I know for Scally it's only been 10 ga 15 games obviously but what's the highest rate you've seen in a in a season Oh he showed poor fitness really No They just want to do a straight swap no way Carlin Fletcher, just remember to bid on players you want between the 30th of May and the 4th of June. Shouldn't have to delay, just treat it as a normal transfer. <coughs> right, the final first leg of the Vans Trophy. Now we've got no, oh, I've got no Michael Dunwell. Crap. Dalgleish, your time is now, you need to step up, son. And now Rigott is back. Uh, who wants David Batty? Millwall. Who wants Cavasto? West Ham. Got, he's got a real shoddy release clause as well. But he won't be able to leave for the rest of the season. So it's not nothing to worry about. He won't be leaving until the beginning of the season. Boutra! 1-0 Jarvin! 2-0 to Telford! Get in! MA, I use a tackle patch, so it will be a different figure. Ah, right, okay. Oh, it's 3-0. Didn't even see that. 
last year's winners is losing 3-0 in the first leg of the South, the Vance Trophy South final. Keep the same team for the second half. Butra again, 4-0. There's no 5-0 five, five against Rushton Diamonds. There is no way Rushton Diamonds is going to come back from this defeat. The second leg, they cannot beat a 6-0. <coughs> five nil against last season's winners that is incredible Oh, Wigan got to the semi-final of the League Cup. That's a good run for them. When do we play Rushton Diamonds again in, in the final? I want to I wanna see. Uh, it's only two games away as well. Uh, Newcastle transferred for Luke Chadwick. I've only got six million. I can't get Luke Chadwick. So Peterborough away from home. Looking at the tactics, David Batty's eighty-nine percent. We do. I do need him for the next game though. So Halsham will start over David Batty. Chris Brandon's tenth goal in the season. Get in, son. Boutra, his 40th goal of the season. What's that? It's 40th. This, I mean, he's on, he's on, he's on par now to uh, to beat last season's goal record of 52. Chris Riggert, get in. Men, what would be the position that need reinforcements for next year? Jarvan, 4-0. Um, oh, oh, God, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm. I'm looking at it that I'm going to lose Butra. So I'm either looking at Dunwell's going to be the main striker for the team. Or I'm going to look at a new striker. And one of the strikers that you and Rick were showing me, that, that guy fits the bill for me. So I'm going to try and get my best to try and get him. Because I, I do feel I'm going to lose Butra for next season. Um, <coughs> I mean, maybe a new centre-back as well, maybe, because... Uh, Kavi Kaviasto, if that's how you pronounce it, he is wanted already, and he's only got a minimum fee release clause of one hundred and fifty thousand. So he he will probably go. Goalkeeper is fine. I think I'm gonna be. Oh my days! What the hell is going on? David Batty, restore some fucking stature in our mid middle of the pack. Um, maybe a new right back as well because um, I see Wayne Carlisle going and I need to get rid of that person because I'm not having that crap on my Scott on my stream we beat Peebra 4-3 sorry for the delay I'm just blocking that 69 mega.com MA looking at my current save highest tackle rate in the Premier League got 6.5 in championship they got up to 12 and a half god that's high Chris Riggett's out for a week. Ah, he's gonna miss. He's gonna miss the final. He's gonna miss the final against Rushton. Bro, go Discord, new tactic. What do you mean, um, Pro Tive? It 
there we go so i like i said new center back because he's got a minimum fee release clause and that's just been hit but he can't leave until the end of the season anyway Hundred fifty thousand, yeah. I bought him for three hundred thousand, so I've lost a hundred and fifty thousand on him, but still that means I'm gonna be looking for a new uh a new centre back patch. What what prototype sorry dude, I'm trying to understand mate. Um what do you mean what patch I'm playing on at the moment? If so that it's the original database, point six oh <clears throat> Okay, so Chris Riggett's injured. Oh, he has gone. I thought he was going to... What an... Oh, no. Okay, Helder Rosario is back in the starting lineup. Batty's coming back in. <coughs> We've taken a 5-0 lead. I have new tactic for the original database. Oh, okay, dude, what tactic's that? Carlisle's injured. Really? Right, Wayne Carlisle swaps with Andy Williams. Neil Moore will go in centre-back. Min, strikers-wise, you have a lot of options. There is a guy called Alex Martin who could also score a bunch. We will have a look at him at the end of the game, dude. Five now at half-time. In this, in on aggregate, sorry, nil nil on the night. Rushton and Diamonds cannot beat us. Then no chance in hell. <coughs> and Chris Chris Brandon makes it one nil on the night. Six nil on aggregate. Rushton and Diamonds just cannot keep up with us. Uh, we're through to the main final, which we were facing Sheffield United. Carlisle's up for three months. Really? Oh, my days. That is just horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Wayne Carlisle's out for the rest of the season, basically. Uh, so it means Andy Williams is going to have to go in at right back, more than likely. Chris Rigger will be back shortly as well. Protai, buy CR7 and they make a lot of money just for fun. Uh, Min, Kevin, Kyle, David Collins, yeah, you already had Jarvan, lots of options. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's have a quick look. So, um, Alex Martin, you said first of all, dude. We'll have a quick look at Alex Martin. <clears throat> so, is that the Farmer one? Yeah, um, it must be the Farmer one. Oh, he scores a fair lot of goals, doesn't he? We'll give him a scout. Um, Kevin Kyle, someone said to me, I don't know if it was you in the last in the last uh, stream that he he scores goals for fun, but no one really ever talks about him. Approach to sign. Don't think he's ever going to be interested in us, though, is he? Two thousand four hundred. Oh, mate, I'm going by your recommendation. I'm getting rid of that. We'll give you a signing on fee of uh, 100,000. And David Collins, you said. Oh, I, f I always forget about David Collins. Uh, double check. Yeah, it's definitely not that one. He's at Colchester. He's. Uh... Why is he not that. playing that well for Colchester? <clears throat> Aston Villa wants David Batty no way Jose reject all bids Millwall as well
Driven, driven. Roberto Stallone. I think uh, I recall that name before as well. Yeah, um, I don't think I'm, I'll be able to get him, dude, unfortunately. All right, guys, we're going to make this the last game against, uh, against Barnsley. So let's see how we get along with this game. So that means we'll have 10 league games left in the uh, in the season <coughs> right okay so Chris Riggett's still injured okay um, we'll put more in right back this time then <coughs> Halsham will partner up with David Batty Rusk and Darm will go on the subs bench for this game uh, yeah same in um Credinho. I know I know of him. He does he does develop really, really well on the game. I just don't know if he'll if he would be join if he would join us um whilst we're in division two or in division one. Oh come on. Get in Jarvin. This is one hundredth goal. League goal. Get in. Oh, an own goal by Grayson. He puts Telford in the lead for the first time in this game. Come on, boys. Let's make it 3-1. Let's put take away that pressure. Put on a sub. Um, look at the conditions of the players. David Batty, 71%. <clears throat> Simon Russ will come on. Darm's going to come on for Dalgleish. <coughs> Last 20 minutes, we need to hold on to this, with, with this victory. <coughs> and Boutra. Oh, my days, really? Hold on, Telford. Fucking hell, Rusk. Oh, we got the victory. Thank God for that. How does Sheffield United get on? They beat Burnley. They're not stopping, are they? Well, we've got the playoff places already. Mathematically impossible for us to not be in the playoffs. Simon, 100 goals by Jarvan. What a player. Yeah, you're right, dude. You are right, dude. <coughs> appeal that but guys um thank you know once again thank you very much for uh being part of the live stream here tonight and like i said i do apologize it was very very short notice but uh tomorrow night i'll make sure that we get the video up as well and that is the that will be the ac milan save that i've just done as well guys so i hope you enjoy that tomorrow night but uh once like i said once we get the uh, merchandise come in take a picture of it show you guys on the on the facebook group and uh, then we'll talk about what day is going to be best to do the, uh, the the live draw for it. But guys, once again, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you tomorrow night with my AC Milan save here at TGR. That's Gaming Robbo. See you later, guys.